Okay, so the game we're going to play, this is a kind of minimalistic city builder. Um, it's all about kind of controlling islands and kind of automating things and like logistics networks and stuff like that, kind of automation roguelike city builder. Uh, I played the demo for it, the demo's pretty cool and it came out onto early access lately and it was pretty cool, it was, it was pretty cheap so I picked it up because uh, I liked the demo. So, I'm gonna play a little bit, see how it goes. Uh, we're not gonna do much in it, but I'll, I'll play it. What the? Where what is this? Okay, so this is Mini Settlers. Woo! Uh, is the audio. The audio's quiet, that's why. Hold on, let me fix it. That's better. We can hear it now. But yeah, this. so this is Mini Settlers. This is like a kind of roguelike, factorial kind of automation, um, city management game, kind of city building game. And I played the demo, and it was quite fun, so. I wanted to, to give it a start and give it a go. Uh, I don't quite know how it works. It doesn't seem to be a tutorial, but I did play the demo. Do you want to go see the stars and the rest of the sofa? Oh, painful. That sounds rough. Uh, I've not played it. I've not played this game before, so I don't have... Is there an island? Slick. Ah, so there's like a story mode. That's cool. Oh, there's loads of islands. Coming soon. So at the moment, there seems to be eight islands with a bunch of what look like population goals and different goals. Construct a monument. Uh, yeah, different challenges to complete on each island. So there's nine islands at the moment. Uh, we'll see how it goes. We'll, we'll jump in, see how it goes. Yeah, Tim, I'm sorry to hear you. You hurt yourself. That sounds that sounds rough. Ah, uh, here we go. This is the tutorial. Move the camera, drive the camera, zoom the camera, zoom out the camera, open the handbook, change time speed, WASD, or edge scroll. With the well, edge scroll is kind of broken because I'm on borderless one, but that's fine. Drag the camera as with right click. Open the handbook. How do you open the handbook? Open the handbook's up here. Okay. Does this tell you how all the... Yeah, it does. Okay, cool. Change time speed. I'm guessing it's numbers. Yeah. You can see it changing in the top right. Cool. Go by mid-September. You got plans mid-September? Uh, that's right. Place starting buildings. Construct a water well. Construct an apple farm. Construct a lumber camp and rotate buildings. Uh, okay, let's give it a bash. Here we've got water here. Build a water well or pump. Uh, what says wood? Build a lumber camp nearby. What's this? What's oh, a cloud? Oh, it's telling you where to put stuff on this one. Okay, cool. Uh, we'll go lumber. Lumber camp. I'm guessing the R's to rotate. It is. Apples. Apples can go there. And water can go here. Nice. Going to Korea on holiday. Ooh, very nice. Yeah, that would suck if you, if you were still injured then. So we've built our apple farm, the water well, and the lumber yard. Uh, what does this little icon mean, I wonder? Build roads, build roads with anchors, destroy roads. I wish there was like an in-between zoom level. One seems too zoomed and the other doesn't seem zoomed enough. Uh, am I going to be better sitting? I might shift to this side. Hey, there we go. That's better. Okay, so, you can you can see the menu now. Some of the buttons seem to be hotkeyed and some don't. So this isn't hotkeyed, but roads are. I think you just do here here what's this icon oh it's like little people doing things okay so this is the kind of automation stuff that uh that we're... uh build roads with anchors uh i don't know what an anchor is let's have a look and see i think there's a video here r or clicking but i'm guessing that's mouse wheel to place anchors on the current road will lock it in place ah so you can yeah you can okay cool what was the destruct button it was under here z oh delete Oompa Loompas, yeah, they're kind of like Oompa Loompas, yeah, they, they do stuff for us, like he's taking apples places, yeah, cool. So they'll transport the resources for me. Uh, I need to build another road with an anchor, so let me just quickly knock one out here, like that, and destroy roads, we can destroy that one. Cool. Production buildings, build, construct a sawmill, and construct a stone quarry. So what we've we got here, let's have a look through the menus. We've got a sawmill that turns one, what I presume is lumber into two wood so let's put these quite close to each other we don't want these to be miles away i guess i actually want to put it here Get rid of that one. in a stone quarry how do we build a stone quarry is there a place to build a stone quarry or does it matter does it manage to get followed under control with another mod oh uh what mod is it 10 seconds is the most you have to wait oh that's so good yeah what mod because i'm i'm gonna need to have a look at some mods for it maybe uh okay so there's it does kind of matter where you put the stone quarry. Let me link these two up. 
we've got our quarry down. Does this have needs then? So this needs apples. It turns one apple into two stone and takes 20 seconds. Okay. And this one, I'm guessing, requires one lumber. So if I take, let's see here, this all the way to here. Doesn't let me. Okay. Is it going to start transporting apples down now? Oh, it just does one at a time, look. Like, and then they come they come down. That's quite cool. Okay, so they, they'll move stuff along the path. And we should start to generate stone. That's one apple. Where's the last apple here that's coming? Uh, the mod called Load Accelerator. Okay, cool. I'll have a look at it. Uh, I'm actually going to make a note because... Uh, I will forget. So give me two seconds. Uh, I want to have a note of it. Load. Seller. Cool. Thank you very much. Alright, let's resume. Uh, so is this turning stone? It has one apple still. Oh, interesting. That's a weird, a weird get around, isn't it? Okay. We, we've got our stone quarry up and working. We have to build a city center, construct houses, complete house requests, and... Complete the population goal of 120 people. Uh, okay, there's no suggestion on where to build things at the moment. Apart from the city centre. Let's put it right kind of in the middle here, I guess. There. That seems good enough. Doesn't it? And we'll get a road that goes from here to... Nope. So interesting, you can't get ro the anchors that you use here to turn a corner. Don't make the road longer. That's good to know. It also doesn't seem like things cost... It seems like everything's free to build, which is interesting. When am I most productive? I, there's not a time where I'm productive. It's very... It differs all the time. Uh, what's going on here? So the houses need to be built within the city centre. And you need to build the houses around the city centre. I've kind of messed this up then, haven't I? Can I move this? No. So really my city centre should be there. Nope. Like... Yeah, that'll do. Yeah, I don't really have a time where I'm productive. Uh, it's... it's Probably different every day, so I can't give you an, an answer. Uh, what can we do here? We'll, do we put them close or do we put them in? Oh, putting that down then creates more space for houses. Okay, cool. Well, let's make it look quite nice. Let's have this just now, like this. This looks quite even, doesn't it? I'm gonna build those that one. Move it to. Can I build roads now? That road's too short. I can go to here. Oh wait, now this road's too short. I've not done a good job of this, have I? Uh, how would I link this up then? I think it needs to go on the corners. And then we're here. Here. Oh, we're getting more in like this, look. This looks so much better than before. And this is the path in and out up the top. Uh, so we can go here. Yeah, that's better. Nope, don't like it that way. We can go there. Can we get a road out here? No. I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. There we go. That works. You went to bed on the lazy house and hitting the floor. A grasshopper? Ugh. I genuinely, I don't know if I've ever seen a grasshopper in real life. Apart from in like a zoo. But they're so not common here. Like we don't get wildlife like that. I say not common, they don't exist. Uh, so I was to construct 10 houses. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We need 2 more houses. Where can I put more houses? It's a nice peaceful game. I like this. I'm a big fan of this type of game. There's 9 and 10. Let's get some roads connected in here. Uh... If I go there, I can go here. Yeah, perfect. What's this? If drivers are waiting too long for a next full road... Wait, what's this? If drivers wait too long next to a full road post, they will drop off the resources. Ah, so this one's full here is what it's telling me. So can I do this? No, I can't. When Amazon delivers driving and wait, waiting at the red light. Is the, is the thingy on this broke? Hold on. It is. There we go. Uh, did you check your parcel out? Yeah. I would be surprised. Actually, our Amazon service here in the UK is not too bad. You see the horror stories in America about it, and it's, it just looks like a nightmare. Hey, uh, what are these? Are these people waiting on water? I can get water to you guys. Hold on. 88% water. That works. Like this. Will that not fulfill their water needs? The water is supposed to go to the houses, not back the way. They're taking the water the wrong direction. Subcon yeah, definitely. In America, the, the horror stories you hear is just not good uh, for the Amazon stuff. So how do we get more... How do we increase the productivity of this instead of it trying to feed the water back into the into elsewhere? Where does it take the water? Down to here? He's taking the water to here, which is taking the water to the apple farm. But the water for the apple farm is right here. Stop! 
Stop taking the water to Isengard. I'm taking that off of you, Zakari. <laughs> Just totally ripped that one. <laughs> They're stealing it. I wonder if it's better to have things closely uh, like linked with each other. Complete house requests. I'm guessing are, are requests consistent? They seem to be. This one's got two water. It's thinking. So how does this system work then? Is this the population of the house? I like this game soundtrack. Yeah, it's quite nice, isn't it? It's quite peaceful. I like it. I do like it. So they receive what they request apples. This says 50 seconds. I don't know why it says 50 seconds. These apples here seem to be going to this bottom house. So what happens when it receives it? Nothing. Ah, okay. So the requests, when the requests get complete into the house, the population goes up. So each request that gets complete increases the population in the house. That's interesting. I also feel like this isn't very well optimized because of how many stops and starts there are. There's a lot of um, passing on the parcel. A lot of, a lot of kind of meaningless steps. If the paths were shorter, it would be better. I guess we let the game play just now while we complete the requests that we need. We need to try and reach the, complete the guest. What does it say? Always make sure to meet the ongoing requests for houses to increase the local city center population. Failing to fulfill requests will lead to a decrease in the local city population. Okay. This one here says complete house requests to attract new settlers and complete the level population goals. Cool. I like that there is a kind of soft goal to this where you're trying to complete like a set number of villagers or something like that. But it's not strict on how many moves or how many turns you get to do it. Make sure you want to play a city builder yourself. It's actually really nice. I, I was really disappointed. I, when City Skylines 2 was coming out, I went back and played City Skylines 1 for quite a while. Had some mods and things in it. Obviously made the game a lot better. But I, I really enjoy a city builder. When City Skylines 2 came out, it was just horrendous. It was so bad. And I still think I put like a decent number of hours into it before I gave up with it. It just wasn't, wasn't ideal, you know? Hey, we've completed that goal. It was, what's, ah, oh, space is the boss. So we have to construct a second city center. Hey, look at their layout here. They've got an interesting layout of houses. Construct houses, establish and construct an apple warehouse, establish and construct a water warehouse, and complete the population goal. Okay, interesting. Let's get our warehouses up to stuff first. What's this then? Okay, I'm gonna stick a warehouse up here. Did I pick what goes in it? Apples. Okay. So is it going to just store excess apples and then it will bring them out if I need them? Eventually this will fill up I imagine and it would be taken from here more often. What was the other one? A water warehouse. We can construct another one of these right here I guess. Water. That's not connected. Okay. So it's getting into it. I place out but it depends on it reviews. Yeah, the, the, it was just not City Skylines 2 was just not ideal at all. Uh, what else? We've got second city centre. What's this here? Forester. What's a forester? I feel like I need to build one of these. Is this going to create new forest for me? What do you do? Who knows? We'll find out. Uh, right, but we do need to complete another city centre. Let's get working on the city centre. Where do I want to? I'll put this one up the top. Let's put this one up here. And we'll get some houses in. I think we'll go along the way this time. Like so. How many houses was that? Does it say? It says I have to build another 10 houses. That's six. We'll go, we'll go seven. Oh, the stone's in the way here. Yo, Metropolis 1998 will turn out well. I've not, not even heard of that one. Is that just a new a new city builder? Because I will absolutely check it out if it comes to it. Or if it comes to fruition. Uh, I'm going to build another. So what I'm, in, what I'm curious to know, can we build here and have multiple houses connected to the same node this will be this will be interesting to see if we can connect these two together these this top house and bottom house to the same the same road node and we'll see what happens uh let's get us in the meantime a new logging camp and an apple tree probably how did we do this before oh we need the forest in one where would be best to do this out here would probably be good and then we can connect in to here and here this needs water, so it can go there. And it'll also need food. We can get from down here. Cool. Let's like it. Let's let it run, and we will build our second, uh, our second city center and village. Looks a lot like SimCity. Oh, I loved SimCity 2000. It was so good. That's interesting. Then I wonder how, I wonder how it worked. Is it on Steam? Metropolis 1998. I need to remember. 
what a wealth of wisdom you've become today, Tumania, with your Fallout mods and your game recommendations. It seems to be gathering the resources. Is there something missing? There's stone missing. It's on its way. This is the, oh, this place is is desperate for some water. Hold on a second. Let's slow down. We need some water in. and some more apples. By the looks of it, let's get some apples on the go. This needs water as well. The demo it will launch in early access soonish. Oh, that sounds like we'll be playing it on stream. I do like playing a playing a little demo or two, you know, and seeing how it goes. I think we're we're back to fulfilling the needs of this town. How's this one getting on? We're getting there. These houses over here haven't been built yet. What we can do is actually nab a, a little path over here, look, and feed food from this side. This does look the this does feed the both houses. So this is actually really good. You can put two houses on one node and it will it will feed them and they'll, they'll get the houses built up. That's really good. I wonder what the selection process is for the the materials that it collects. I don't know where if this house, for instance, will collect from the bottom right resource or this left water resource. I'm unsure what, uh, what drives their thinking. Whether it's like shortest route or if it's shortest number of connections or something like that you know or if it's where it's available it might just look at where water is available and then decide that that's where it wants to take the water from because i can build more water storage here and store water hey island settled successfully you settled 200 population nice so is there nothing for this copy prioritize pause upgrade upgrade there's an upgrade button down here if you press b you can upgrade things. That'd be interesting to, to discover what that does. So I think we maybe have beaten this level. How would I see? Yeah, Tutorial Island. Let's head back to the main menu. Let's save this. Never mind. We can't save. We've learned. We, we learned the rules. We, we completed Tutorial Island. We're on to Eden Isle. Complete the island population. Reach 900 island population and reach 225 island native population. I've got a feeling we're going to learn some more things in this one. Ooh. Look at this. Native village center. Okay, interesting. What are these what are these goals? Is this just natives, residents, and population? Island population goal. Okay. Let's get to work. Let's grab some water. I wonder. No, you cannot grab from the sea. Interesting. Okay. I also can't put that there. That must be up a mountain. I do want to connect up the uh, island population here and have this one come out way along here somewhere so that they can get some water uh let me connect up this last bit as well this guy can't get connected if i connect in here can i connect to here how am i going to connect these guys together huh what a pain um if i go if i go this way this way no we don't want that there that's them connected where's that i'm out of diluting juice it's all gone we ran out today and it's funny because I went to the shop at lunch and just didn't pick up more. It was my own fault. Uh, okay, so I'm going to assume that this water will start to get transported when they want water. Oh no, they only want food. Well, that was a colossal waste of time. Uh, apples? Ah, uh, but you can't grow apples there. It was a waste of time deleting it. Should he send the UN? <laughs> no, it's okay. I think I've got it under control. We might be okay. Uh, okay, so that's going to feed the natives. Let's... Uh, start working on our own civilization. We need a city center. Where are we going to get stone from? Is this the stone deposits? Oh no, that's so far away. Um, I mean, okay, sure, we'll go here. Too many. Here's a question: Have you played? Uh, have you played Satisfactory? Because it's a really good. It's not a city builder, but it's kind of um, automation base building. That's pretty good. Okay. This is my city center. Let's get some water for the city center. Food for the city center. Let's get a forestry bit up and running with a logging camp. And we'll pipe it all up. Let's go. Damn it. This may actually work into here anyway. Yep, it does. So I want to have a path that comes into here. I also want to have this as a path and this as a path. And then we want to continue down here, around this corner to here and here. And this will all start to work. 
not factorial either. Oh, if you if you like this kind of game where it's like kind of automation simulation type thing, uh, you should you should give factorial a go. It's it's really good. Uh, what I think I'm going to do is maybe stick one of these down again. I'm going to assume this creates plant life, and it should be good to have. We'll find out, I guess. Uh, and might actually stick a road in here, like so, to take any excess water. Now it looks down here we've got water pumps, so this must be advanced things. What else have we got? Let's have a look through and see what we've actually all got here. We've got the filtration post. You can use the filtration post to block as many resources as you want from going through a specific road post. Ah, okay, hold on. That's interesting. So we could use filters to stop them passing multiple or things in directions we didn't want them to go, which is really cool. We've got highways, which I'm assuming are faster. They look faster. What's this here? Train station? Oh, that's really quick. Look at that. And then we've got ports. Place port stations to move resources between the sea. That's cool. That's cool. What's in here? This is storage. This just looks like warehouses. Yeah, we've seen the warehouses, didn't we? This is settlement. So we've got city center and house, which is the ones we've been using so far. We then have what well, looks like a city center too. I think it's got a higher a higher house um, capacity. So at the top right, this is 15. This one says 10. So I'm assuming that, yeah, that's 20, this one. But look, they need like, what, what I'm going to assume is electricity, concrete slabs and glass to build that. So that's, that's a little bit of ways. This is water, water pump, and sea water filter. We've got apple farm, juice maker, wheat farm, a bakery, cow farm, milk factory, butcher, and a restaurant. We've got the lumber camp, the sawmill, and the forester. What else we got? Carpenter workshop, charcoal maker, wood factory, and wood beam workshop. I wonder, oh, so we've seen the wood beam workshop was for one of these, was it not? Yeah, the, the, this third level of city center so you need to develop things as you progress that's quite cool stone quarry stone mine coal quarry oh wait do we need stone we need stone for this ah bugger hold on we need to build our stone quarry and then we'll do this here why not having two it probably isn't a bad idea uh do i want it to go into here yeah sure why not and you guys are going to start producing stone oh no you need food first so I need to ship food all the way from the right hand side, all the way to the left to get stone back. I should have built a secondary place. This has loads of apples on it. I should connect these up or have a secondary road look here. Let's see if we can figure out how the... Uh, let me see here, hold on. I'm going to take this one out one more to here, here and here. I want to put a filter on this and this to say, how do you filter this? No stone, only apple. And this might start feeding apples along here, but not... Hey, look! Settlement goal reached. Very nice. Highways can't be connected to buildings. It can only be connected to road posts. <gasps> Did we unlock... Oh, we unlocked highways. Okay, sweet. This looks here like it's not allowing stone to pass through. What happens if I turn this off? Is it going to start passing stone back through there? Probably not, because they're not linked up. And this place isn't going to look for stone, is it? We'll take it. The USA would de disagree with what? Connecting motorways to houses? What's this here? Stone tool make? Why do we need stone tool? Well, let me test it actually. This is the perfect way to test it. So, this makes stone tools. If I disable this, this starts to feed stone in. Aha! That's how this I could probably delete this one and just have stone here. I don't want this. <laughs> Alright, well, where do I want to put my stone? Maybe put my stone tools here. Is this going to feed stone? Wait, we didn't try the, the highways. Hold on. Hold on, stop. I want to replace all of this with highway. Is it, I think it's G for highway. Oh, this looks sophisticated. And let's get some normal road here. And some normal road here. Do I need to put my stone tool maker? Where was my tool maker? Here. Oh, it's so quick. Look at this. Wait, I've slowed it right down. Now it's not quick. But look at the speed of this apple. Bzz, bzz, bzz. I don't know why it's going back the way. This one is so much quicker. It's only taken one piece at a time. Why is that? Can I build directly onto the highway? Where do I have a connection point? Can't connect buildings to highways. So it seems limited then of what you can do. I'm going to just delete this and replace this with highway. 
so that it's quicker. There we go. And then all those apples in the water will move quicker. Nice. Okay, so we've got stone tools here. This is going to make us stone tools. What have we got here? Wood furniture. How is our city, our city coming along? They're wanting People are wanting wood furniture. Let me put this here and we'll connect it up. That way, if people want wood furniture, they can get it. Oh, look at the demand for furniture now. Oh, they're desperate. They're so desperate for furniture. Ah, so this actually counts. This 50 seconds actually counts down. That's interesting. Okay. <laughs> capitalism. <laughs> I don't think I make any money off of it, so I don't think it is capitalism. These guys want stone tools, but I can't get them stone tools. Wait a second. We can get them stone tools. I just need to play about with the roads here. Like that. Oh, look, it's taken multiple now. That's nice. Some of the demand rises. Yeah. I seen a thing lately and it was, I think it was a UK, there was a UK guy. What's his name? I don't like his laugh. Um, Jimmy Carr. Jimmy Carr was like trying to, was speaking all profound in some kind of podcast and he was like, oh, there's nothing in a shop that will bring you happiness. And I was like, oh, fucker, you get sweets. You get sweets in the shop. They bring you happiness. What are you talking about? You know? This guy's trying to be like, oh, no items. No items will ever, that you purchase, will ever bring you happiness. But it doesn't know that Malwams exist. What's this knockoff factory? Hey, look, how's it going, man? Welcome, man. Uh, this is Mini Settlers. So this is kind of simulation, town building, um, automation style game. So, uh, yeah, it's it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I'm enjoying it so far. We're on the we're on the first level. We've played the tutorial and we're on the first levels. So we are. Malwams are good. Yeah, Malwams are good. Big fan. Big fan. Did that work? Light some incense? Ooh, you're so sophisticated to me with your incense. What's this? Oh, I got an achievement. I have a level one city fully satisfied. Hey, is that this then? Oh, I've sat managed to satisfy my whole city. Good lord, that brings a whole new meaning to the town bike, eh? Whole new meaning. I don't know what this circle's for. Wait, we, we, we discovered that we could upgrade things down in this bottom corner. Can we upgrade this? Max level reached. Okay. I, I'm liking this. Uh, dual channel uh, motorway system we've got. I think it, they need to be spaced out so we can bridge gaps uh, and create. So I would need to have a space in between the two here because I can't build a road here at the moment. Too short. So I think in the future when we do motorways we'll need to have them one up, like this here. Like this we can do one apart. Never mind because it won't satisfy highway length. Never mind. How about an ad? Wait you got an ad? Oh yeah ads did start. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I, I was just saying about incense is, is fancy. I don't have any incense. My room still smells like burgers, like what, from when I have my dinner. That's my incense, is food. This actually does seem to be producing more trees for the, the lumber camp, so that's worth it. Our native population is fully complete. I'm going to assume now we need to just increase the population. Wood? Yeah. Uh, so that involves building another city. So what we'll do is, hmm, where would we put? Where would we put a new city? We need to build first of all. We need to build a, a, a city center. I think I want to build one in this channel, right up the middle. I think that'd be that'd be cool. Grab some houses, and we've discovered that we can stack them on top of each other as well, which is good. We got a few different Japanese varieties. Oh, that is fancy. There we go. There's our new houses. Let's connect them up here with this and we'll take it down to here for sure that works let's get some motorways in so first of all we need access to wood and food and water the water's here there's also water up here we could actually start fresh up here and have the supply being up the top that would work let's do that let's take a full road length out and we can join onto it let's get some water from here some food from next door there get some lumber here we are with one of these next to it and a logging camp on the way out move the logging camp one over there's water water okay let's try and see how we would get on with motorway or if we get a motorway ah so this motorway is too short interesting but that's not too short that works we'll take it I was going to start filling up this population. We need to grab a node off of the bottom motorway so we can get more stone, however. But I'm going to do that. Take it to here. And then... Can we get into there? There we are. 
What was your favourite incense scent to Muneer? What have you got that's your favourite one? While my new city builds itself. I'm impressed they've managed to get to seemingly full population uh, at the moment. We can put down some chairs. A chair supplier. I don't think these guys are going to want stools. Or tools, sorry. Where's my storage? This isn't connected to here. That. Um, what do we need here? Oh, we do need tools. That should eventually get tools up there. We could bypass and get some tools on. Let's do that. Can't divide them because they are going to be too small. Divided highway too short. Well, there's a connection if it needs anything then. Your two favourite scents are Daigen Co, which is Great Origin. And Moss Garden. Oh, Moss Garden sounds nice. I like the sound of Moss Garden. Who's requesting all of my, my stone tools? Because I need more. Tools. Stone tools. Let me get another road. Sorry, I've clicked off of this again. There we are. Are we building pop? We've lost population. Oh no. She said it smelled masculine. I would have thought moss garden would smell masculine. Is this going to keep feeding stone tools? We've doubled our stone tool output. I think it depends when it requests it. How far do we need? Let's, let's do a little test. If I go... Yeah, so you can have it. You could have a motorway. Essentially have a motorway here, here, and here. Is what you would have to have it set up like for it to work. Uh, what I could do is have a stone tools place here. And then that way I could have... I could remove this filter from here. And allow everything to pass through. And then the stone would get onto this bottom highway and go off this side as well. That could work. Which is what it's doing now. So our population goal for this is to reach 700. Which I would reach if we could maintain the native population and finish our two cities population. So right now the goal is to get this back up, basically. Would it be possible to stop these two feeding? No, I mean, I think it's doing okay. I wonder if I need to have a road around this way to feed this one, if that's going to be quicker. And then that way it's a loop. The loop might end up being quicker. Which is the issue is that I don't understand the priority for moving items. This place seems to be going pretty good though. 216 of 240. We are still 240 of 240 here. 216, that's pretty good. We are building chairs, we've got logs going on. I'm liking the highways, the highways are nice. These guys are all getting fed. This looks like the population. Hey, we did it. You've settled 700 population. I feel like I need to go for the 900. I feel like we need to get 900, which means one more population. How quickly do you think we can get it? Let's see. What if we go here? One, two, three, four. Put roads here. And there. GG! Yeah, well, let's see. I'm going to see if we can get 900 and then we can... We'll see where we go for there. I feel... See, because we're, we're one off of the requirement here, I feel like I need to finish. I'm like, oh, we need to get three stars on the island. I'm quite enjoying it. It's quite peaceful. It's nice. It's a nice relaxed one. I played a lot of a game... I don't know if you've heard of a game called Mini Metro or Mini Motorways. I played a lot of Mini Motorways and it's really good and it's simplistic and it's about traffic maintenance and just coordinating traffic routes and things like that it's really super addicting it's good i got elicar into it he liked it i don't think he's played it in a while though i also haven't played it in a while if i do this is that quicker i don't know if it's better or worse to have multiple connections into a, like a water source what game is that uh, it was called mini motorways and it's basically you have a bunch of cities or uh, you basically have a bunch of shops that require customers and you the customers drive from their houses to the shops and you connect the houses to the shops and you manage what colours they're, they're cut they match the colours. It's really good. I recommend it. It's simpler than this. It's a lot more simplistic than this. This is uh, automation and stuff like that. Uh, that doesn't have that. Are we still rising in population here? We are. 78. Nice. Okay, so this is climbing back. We're getting there. Our population here, I think, is building. Looks like it. We're maybe running out of resources food wise to to feed them let's build another apple orchard and we should probably then build another water source for that apple orchard let's get some road get some road and can we put a highway between it we can more sh shooting stars tonight i thought it was yesterday there was like a meteor shower was there not there was a meteor shower yesterday it's supposed to be i looked or i didn't see any i didn't see any of it but i've heard it looked quick the weekend also tonight. Ah, okay, also tonight. Interesting. Insured toe accident. <laughs> We're climbing here. Let's have a look and see. 94. We are climbing. 
We're claiming here. A slow claim, maybe? Yeah, we are claiming. We are claiming. We're on max speed here. We have a lot of wood here. Is this one claiming? 130. Yeah, we're getting there. Oh, this has less houses. I didn't put enough houses in. Let me do that. Hold on. There we are. That might be better. That may help. They all answer water. Do we have enough water going in here? I wish. I wonder, can we cross the... No, you can't. Ah. I'm going to assume that you cannot cross any roads or there's no tunnels or anything like that. If you were to cross them, you'd probably have to do it at a node, I guess. Yeah, you'd have to cross like this with a road piece. That's not bad, though. It is possible if there are fast... And reach 900! We done it! We got 900 population. Let's go. Eden Isle complete. Save. All right. Folks, that was many settlers. I highly recommend it. Uh, it was pretty good. It is in early access at the moment. Uh, it's just came out of early access. Uh, it looks like a little, a good little puzzle game. A bunch of different islands. I think there's, I think we've seen earlier on there was nine levels at the moment. It goes up to eight with this tutorial. There's nine levels. Uh, give it a look. The, there is a free demo on Steam. I did play it before, which is why I bought the game. And uh, I can say that I quite enjoyed it. So I'll probably play more. Maybe yeah. There we go. If actually, if we're watching on YouTube, because this will probably become a YouTube video. Thank you very much for watching to the end. Uh, if you want to come and check us out on Twitch, we are live three-ish days a week. Uh, and you can catch us over, I'll put the link down below for the Twitch channel. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, for those of us on Twitch, we're going to go and play Elden Ring.